it's G. We just had the first snowfall of the winter, last few days of November. So there was about, I don't know, five or six inches yesterday. What does that mean? It means everything is white, it means the roads are icy, it means all the clothes are wet. It means people are losing their dogs in the snow. And the sun is incredibly bright today, which means the snow is going to melt. And it also means I can't actually see anything at all driving down parts of this road. Now it's Sunday, and I hate going to work on Sunday. But there are parts of our jobs I think that we all hate. So that's okay. Whoa, what was that? Put a spade in the back of the car in case I have to dig the car out of the snow if it snows later today. But the temperature's warmer, so I expect everything to melt and turn muddy, soggy, gooey. Slushy, yucky. My daughter woke up this morning and the first thing that she said was, Good night. You have to love kids' perspectives on things. ever get angry with yourself? I do, I get angry with myself a lot. It's probably healthier to get angry with myself than angry with somebody else. I was angry with myself yesterday for not doing as much as I could do during the day. I gave up halfway through the day. I sort of did semi-constructive things for most of the morning and then I, I just gave up. I was like, that's it, that's it, I've had enough. I was supposed to go to the office yesterday, didn't even get there. Welcome to failure and inability to execute on the plans that we have. result it's Sunday and I have to now spend a large amount of hours in the office doing paperwork. So a lot, a lot of people take work home for the weekend or they do a little bit of extra in the evening or preparation for the next day. I get it, I get it. But you need to set set aside time to switch off. Work for a lot of people means pressure. Pressure means stress. And nothing happens without a little bit of pressure. There's no change without exertion of force and pressure in any kind of situation, either internal or external. Which is why I have to force myself to do things that I really don't want to do sometimes. Risk of ice. I thought that I had achieved 
almost everything I wanted to achieve. I thought that I had done almost everything that I wanted to do this week. And all I had to do was tidy up a few little things at the weekend and I would be on the course, I would be on track. And I let myself down. I got halfway through the day and I gave up. No. With families, it's a complex process of understandings. To give up. Because it meant that I couldn't accomplish the things that I needed to accomplish for me and my family, but I could spend time with my kids. So that was the, the nice part about the second half of the day. Because it was snowing, and there's a certain romantic air about. There's a certain romantic air when it snows enough for there to be snowmen and snowball fights and a crisp atmosphere. Of course, when you get two meters of snow and you can't find your car, it's a bit different. Or when it snows overnight, frosts in the morning, and all the snow is hardened like like a rock encasing everything like my car was last year when, when was it this year? it was this year it was the beginning of this year when my car was frozen to the road I didn't clear enough of the snow from around the tires and the frost froze the snow to the road and the same snow to my tires and my car was fixed to the road. It was like super good to the road. Had to get an axe and cut it out. What a ridiculous thing to be doing. <laughs> Especially when your partner is about to give birth and you need to get to the hospital. So, we're about five kilometers further down the road here, and all the snow is melted. That one or two degrees difference is now from being around zero where we live, it's now around four degrees here. So. And that's because you get direct sunlight. God, it's almost like it didn't even snow at all here. In the place where we live, somebody told me that they planned to build a ski resort there, they being developers, business people. Plans, the best laid plans of mice and men, Afghan and I, never happened. I wonder how different the place would be today. Busier, how much more chaotic and lively, how many different choices people would have made, how much more money would have been invested, how many problems would have been created that needed to be solved. It's interesting to Imagine how different things could be or could have been
so I'm following this jeep truck down the road and uh, I'm thinking that's the kind of vehicle you need for this kind of weather. You need about 30 centimetres of clearance, 40, 50 maybe, when the snow is deep, so that you can just drive over everything. Bigger tyres also help, as do winter tyres. having to go to work on Sunday is that you don't fully switch off. That's the point. You don't fully switch off. You're still in there. to think that people are thinking. It's interesting that we use the, the word think as a verb for opinion. It's one of those verbs that has two concepts to it. There's the, if I know something, I think I think it is good, I think it is bad. It's my opinion. <laughs> we use think for opinion when a lot of people are not processing any kind of information. And then we've got the I don't know, which is um, the I don't know concept, which is I am thinking. Whereas I have to I have to process something in order to find an answer. Doctors who work 24 hour shifts, I can't be helped. There are people who work every day. I guess that's okay when your hobby is your job. Like I, I imagine like a ski instructor or something like that. Things 
to do. Sit down, make a list, go through it one by one, take it off, make sure it's done. Take the next step. That's it. Step by step. Easy does it.